Ice cream on a hot day. We think of it as one of summer's most simple pleasures. Who knew that this simple pleasure is actually so complex you need a supercomputer to understand it. If you zoom in on these substances and if you were able to view them at a microscopic level, you would see that they're actually made up from quite complicated structures of um, different materials. Scientists at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland are studying ice cream with the help of Silicon Valley technology to make it even better. It's a program using Cray supercomputers packed with NVIDIA processors to change the physics of what they call soft matter. The same machines used to track weather patterns and model nuclear explosions, firing away to improve the taste, texture, and shelf life of your favorite dessert. So to get down into the, to the details of doing simulations and, and modeling the world as we know it to better understand it, you've got to have a lot of compute power. It's not just a laptop. It's, or, or if you use a laptop to generate some of these computations, it might take five lifetimes, and we don't have time to do that. Now, lest you think money and resources are going towards research only about ice cream, fear not, the supercomputer results can also be applied to other everyday items. So if we can control the way phase separation occurs in those kinds of things for ice cream, we can leverage it into all kinds of other more important technologies as well. So this research is actually applicable to a wide range of fuels, um, such as things like engine oils, paints, foodstuffs like sauces, mayonnaise, ice creams, yogurts, um, cosmetic items like soap, shampoo. You probably don't associate ice cream with physics, or for that matter, supercomputers. But because there are people who do, the future of ice cream is a little tastier and a little cooler.